a lot of Brumbies guys there and done well. We were playing, playing two weeks ago and doing good things. Um, so we've had one eye on that the whole time as we've whittled away at the squad and narrowed it down. Uh, the guys in form, the guys doing well, the guys that are, uh, the guys we've picked. So um, that's just not in terms of what we've seen on the TV, but also what's been going on in the training camp. And uh, you know, we've been really happy with the work that's been done. Yeah, very excited. Um, kind of a, a dream for every Australian rugby player to put on gold jersey. So excited that uh, I get that privilege to do so. Yeah, I'm just uh, really excited. It's uh, great to be back in the Wallaby squad and uh, playing with a, a lot different. A uh, bunch of boys than last time, but they're just really enthusiastic, and we're really excited about the challenge ahead. Yeah, it's been quite a journey, but you know, I guess it's taken me a long time to get here. But I'm just honoured to be part of, you know, to be I have the opportunity to represent my country. You know, it's been uh, probably one of the older guys here, but it's a great group of guys, and, and really looking forward to Saturday night. Well, it's obviously it's uh, it's exciting and privileged, but most uh, you know I'm more focused on the performance of Canada as opposed to being. Uh, getting too sentimental about the whole situation. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it goes without saying that it's exciting. At the end of the day, it's uh, how we play or how I play out there um, and how we play as a team that uh, matters the most. When's the right time to have a debut time? I mean, I don't sit there and count. I actually just look at the players and say, what, can, what are they capable of doing? I didn't sit there. I don't sit there and watch and work at how many caps they've got. I, don't, I haven't done that equation. I really looked at the, the guys that were delivering what we need to deliver. And there's different attributes there. When's the right time to debut? I don't know. I actually don't know. Um, when's the, is there an easy game somewhere? I don't know where they are anymore. Um, you know, there's been easy games in, in recent years and there have been landmines in the end, so you wouldn't want to... You just, you just pick guys when they're ready and uh, when you need them. And, uh, yeah, we've got the things happening. There's a, whole, there's a raft of players that, that, that aren't around at the moment. But that's giving great opportunity for other guys to step up, so I'm really interested in the guys stepping up. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. Um, yeah, Will's obviously um, one of the halfbacks in the world and it's been privileged to um, train for more week and um, with a lot of the guys actually um, uh, learns a lot and it's, uh, yeah, it's exciting to get out right now next time. Oh, I guess con playing consistent at super level is, is the only thing you can really do, you know, so to get to get to this position and and I was pretty happy with my season. I was happy with my season last year it's just and I thought that I improved on that, so I think that gives you the confidence going into a game like this. There are two things, there's the scrum and there's the rest of the game. And um, so I'm interested in the scrum, but I'm also interested in the rest of the game. So uh, we've picked guys that are pretty good contributors in totality and I think are good scrummages as well. I think, um, I think Andrew Blades has done a really good job. You know, just, I don't care what anyone tells me. I, I know I, I watch closely, I watch the improvement, I watch the depth that we've got. We've got some really good technicians, we've got some really good players that play in the front row and we've also got some good guys coming through. So, um, you know, that's, that's what you're going to need.